Hey guys and welcome back. So in this uh, third video, I um, would like to add, um, first of all, uh, a little something we can get run down by. Um, so the, uh, to do that, I'm gonna um, go into modes here and find myself. Um, uh, actually, that's, is this a static mesh? This is a static mesh. Okay, so let's just use this one and create a cube uh, blueprint out of that. Um, and uh, let's see, we have a cube in here and I just want to make sure that this cube has, uh, where did it go? Um, browse to just want to make sure that it has collision on so it has a collision um, to find on it and the thing is we want to make sure that we collide with this um, okay yeah so um, we have uh, collision preset um, let's say we want to um, overlap all, well we kind of want to uh, block all actually uh, because we don't want to be able to run through this guy here but we also want to be able to overlap with this um, so let's say this was a car and uh, want to make sure that if we get hit by the car and we uh, um, the car has a, over a certain speed, then uh, we want to be able to yeah uh, turn him to ragdoll. But f for this, um, I'm just gonna make sure that first of all that he's gonna be able to to move. So uh, the the car, let's call it the car. Um, so um, from begin play, I'm gonna do this by using a timeline. Um, so I add a timeline, and let's see. Add a float in here, and let's just set this to let's say uh, four seconds. And uh, we want to make him move back and forth, and I don't know how much. So I, in order to just be able to adjust this, I'm gonna make um, first one key here, and make this zero zero, and then two seconds over. Uh, this was not two seconds, but anyway, I want to make this a one this value of 1 and then 4 seconds later um, I'm gonna make this minus 1 and nope not uh, 2 seconds I think um, let's see after 1 second sorry 1 second we want to make it uh, the value of 1 and after um, I did the other one go okay after two seconds three seconds uh, it's gonna be minus one and then finally after at four seconds it's gonna be uh, zero again okay so uh, linear and so it's gonna just gonna ping pong back and forth like that okay and we since this is gonna be um, just uh, going from zero to one to minus one, we want to make sure to multiply this by something. And let's just give it 1000 to begin with. And let's also drag in uh, our cube. What? Where did it go? Is this? This is not the one, is it? This is the. Oh, we already have one up here. Nope, that's not the one. What is it? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I can't really figure out if this was the one. Okay, so anyway, what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to put this box somewhere down here. Why it's going to drive back and forth. So this is the, the y-axis. So we want to make sure that uh, just check where it is right now it's at x minus 910 and the y is here and the c is uh, 230 so 
let's just say 200 um, because otherwise I can't remember it. Anyway, um, so when we begin, let's make a vector out of this. Vector. And we want to move it along the y axis. So we want the, the x value to be about minus 900. Oh. And the cx to be 200. And then we want to update said world location. Uh, not that one. Um, set world location. Or oh, maybe it is. Okay. Uh, so let's see if that works. Is it going to move or not? No, it's not moving. What is it? Do we have a box moving? No, none of the boxes are moving. Oh, we have, oh I forgot. Uh, this got to be movable, otherwise it's not going to move at all. Okay, so now we have a box running around here. Yeah, okay, so it now stopped because I forgot to set this to loop. So let's try it again. So, god damn it, stop. Okay, it still doesn't loop. Okay, uh, what did I forget? Um, uh, what did I forget? What did I forget? So set to loop. And, oh, um, apparently it needs to go play from start, otherwise not gonna loop, I think. Uh, and why do I keep falling off? I think I moved my player start. Where's my, oh, it's up here. So let's bring it down and bring it over and there we go. Okay, so now we have the box. Oops. Okay. God damn it. So the thing is, we want to be able to be run down by this. And right now it's just going to push us around. Okay. So, um, Either we are not having enough uh, speed or uh, whatever it, um, on the cube, or I don't know. Uh, so let's um, make sure that we definitely have has enough speed on this. So let's give it 2,000. Just gonna jump down here. And die. Oh. Okay. So we are not. Uh, we ha we definitely should have enough speed. But he's not going into ragdoll. He's just going crazy. So something is wrong with this. Um, and if we print out um, this value here, get from the inside the third-person character blueprint, if we print out the uh, the value of the speed, um, we can see. Okay, this is the ground right now. Uh, come on. Okay, this is another issue we will tackle in a moment also. So, as, as we can see, when the passes, it passes through us, we get a, a speed of zero, zero, zero. So it doesn't really seem to have any speed. Um, the thing is, if we get, um, I'm not sure you can do this, but get physical, get, uh, get uh, this just give a, gives us get velocity, but this other component get. Um, Get physical uh, linear velocity. Uh, if we dr drag this one out, um, and connect this up, and we don't need to give it a bone. But um, if we try to use this one uh, to print out instead, just to begin with, oh heck, let's replace it after all, just because. Yeah, and let's test this. So fall down and die. So now we can see he uh, actually gets run down by the box. And that's pretty cool, I think. And so let's see. It gives, a, it gives us a pretty cool effect, I think. It's getting slammed into the wall. <laughs> I kind of like that. Um, so. Yes. Um, 
what else did I want to mention here? Um, well, just a little note about this. If you happen to just follow this and you realize that sometimes he, when he you press the the key interact key here uh, to get him back again, and he keeps um, popping into Ragdoll immediately. Um, the reason for that is um, because we have this um, event component begin overlap. Oh yeah, and one one thing before I continue, actually we can just get rid of this now, uh, or this event on landed. It's not really necessary because this is going to take care of all the uh, the falling for us. So actually we can just get rid of that. Um, but the thing is, uh, sometimes um, when we pop back into a normal um, walking around state, um, he's immediately the the speed of uh, in between here until he settles is uh, gonna make him pop back again, uh, and it's gonna give him so much speed that he's actually gonna throw him into ragdoll immediately after. So um, what I the re the way I found out to just um, make a quick fix for this is to. Um, maybe I can show this. Um, so let's go down here and, f and die. Okay. So it usually happens when you try to pop in back um, uh, before he settles on the ground. So let's see. Uh, okay, he's acting okay now. Well, oh, trust me, it happens. So if I press, no. Okay, god damn it. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but if yeah, well, I pressed uh, my key uh, to get him back, and he just popped right into a ragdoll immediately after. So, um, yeah, just uh, assume that I'm right for now. Okay. Um, the way I uh, figure out a little fix for this is to introduce yet another variable called uh, recovering. So when I um, uh, set him back to normal, I uh, set this uh, recovering uh, to true, and then I give it a little delay. Whoops! Give it a little delay. Um, this like uh, so five seconds maybe I don't know how much um, and then I um, say no okay now I'm not recovering anymore so uh, and down here I say we don't don't want to make all this stuff here unless uh, we are not recovering so let's pop in the branch so if we are recovering we are not recovering um, Then go ahead and uh, check all, if all this is true or not. So uh, that should guard us against uh, him. Um, so we can now pop back right back. Okay. Um, one thing, maybe, do I have time for this? Uh, we have 13 minutes on timer, so let's see. Um, if I enable the, uh, the fall capsule, the visibility of it, um, we can see, maybe, um, that when we go into Ragdoll, uh, both of these are staying up here. So let's say this was uh, something that was uh, was kind of a, let's say something spinning, saw something uh, that, that would cut us down. Uh, actually, we can try and do this just by taking our cube and saying instead of being 200, it would be 400 up, maybe. Um, where do you go? Okay. What the heck? Uh, okay, what the... Okay, I don't really see what happened. 
uh, yeah, let's play it from the current. Okay, I don't know what happened there. So, okay, so is it, this is not going to drive us down. But let's say it was down at say 300. Okay, what the? Whoa! Okay, so okay, let's see. If we were standing, oops, like here, and get run over, and let's say the 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 car comes uh, or the, whatever it is comes and squashes us again, uh, we can see that now that the 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 outer let's call it the uh, the fall capsule or the outer capsule is uh, still standing up, and uh, we don't want him to keep colliding with it so uh, a way to go about that is to take the fall capsule and make it a me um, parent of the mesh and that means that um, when we um, get run over by the the evil car here uh, if we can like this you can see now the 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 capsule also falls down so now um, he's gonna stay under here it's not gonna be hit all the time so it's only when he stands up again and then it's gonna be run over again. It's gonna lie down, which makes it a little bit easier to deal with a uh, collision when he's he's uh, run, uh, lying down. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. I think um, I want to attach a few words to um, this approach I mentioned in the first video. Um, I said something about the pelvis, and I wanted to use this approach instead of just using uh, the very simple version of just setting uh, the mesh to simulate physics. Um, I want to end this mini uh, series with a few words on uh, how to deal, uh, why I did this and a few um, issues I had with it because it, yeah, there's a little story to this. I'm gonna mention more on that in the next video. So thanks for watching and uh, Bye.